What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chan Adi, your Techno Dad here, and in this video we're going to check out the Oxford Sofa by Valencia Theatre Seating, and we're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. First things first, I want to thank Valencia Theatre Seating for sending this in for review and sponsoring this video. I'm super stoked that my living room has a whole new look and function with this brand new furniture. Now if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Alright, let's walk you through the unboxing and setup. So back on Father's Day, I figured I could easily get my teenager's help to assemble this sofa, which means we've had it for about one month now. There are three boxes, one smaller than the other two. Again, I made the mistake of opening the box from the top. It's way easier to open it from the bottom, so just keep that in mind. So first we have the bottom half of the left side of the couch. First thing I want to do is connect power for the bottom half of the chair to the power brick. We simply connect the power cables and put the locking clip into place. Then connect the power brick to the power cable. Getting the top part of the chair into place was a little tricky. Good thing I had an extra set of hands to help. Just align the two prongs and slide them into place. You should hear a click to know it's attached. Next we pull the power cord through the slot and connect the top half of the chair to power. Just do the same thing as before, connect the cables and put the locking clip into place. Now we can secure the rear flap by using the velcro on the bottom of the chair. Alright, that's one down, two more to go. Now let's get the center section, which is the smaller box, out and in place. Same deal here, you gotta align the prongs into place and slide the top half of the chair onto the bottom half, making sure you hear a click. Connecting the chairs may be a little difficult as you'll need to maneuver the pegs on the left side chair to the slots on the center section. Here's what those two look like together. Since the center section doesn't have a reclining feature, we don't need to connect the top and bottom for power. However, it does have a three prong power plug for electrical outlets and there is an adapter for the top lights. Now onto the right side of the chair. Same deal as the left side of the chair. Get the top part on and listen for a click. Connect power for top and bottom sections and then connect the right side to the center section. Again, this was a lot easier with the help of my teenager. Next thing we had to do was move it into place and we were in business. This couch looks awesome. The diamond stitching not only matches the Tuscany love seat, but it's also top gray Napa leather, so it's plush and super comfortable. Let's take a quick look at the controls on the left hand side of the couch. As for the controls, we have the power button on the far left. Just tap and hold until the blue LED is illuminated. The next button is the LED light on off switch for the cup holder. Next to that, we have the recline button. One of the things I noticed right away was that this model, unlike the Tuscany love seat I reviewed before, the chair actually moves forward during the recline. This is great because you can actually put this couch closer to the wall than with the Tuscany model, which makes it great for a living room. The last button on the left side of the controls brings the chair back to its upright position. The next two buttons on the right control the motorized headrest. The middle button raises the headrest and the left button lowers the headrest. Last but not least is the return button. This is a one touch button that returns the chair to its closed position, bringing in both the recline and the headrest at the same time without having to hold down any buttons. Now this is a super cool feature and my favorite part of the couch so far. You just press the button and you can get up and walk away or you can sit there and hang out for the ride. But basically you just don't have to keep holding the button down. Just hit the return button and everything goes back to normal. That's super cool. You also get a USB port on the bottom side of the controls which you can charge a phone or tablet. With the phone you can definitely place it in the storage compartment under the armrest and the cable will not be damaged. Not sure you can fit a big iPad in there but you definitely can get your phone in there for sure. The integrated cup holders on either side of the couch suffer from the same issues as the Tuscany Loveseat I reviewed before. Our water glasses won't stand up straight in this cup holder, but soda cans or other cans like this Rockstar will work, Coca-Cola bottles or beer bottles will work, and certain coffee cups will work as well. Moving to the armrest storage, you can fit around four remote controls and an Xbox game controller, but it isn't the largest. In fact, it's kind of hard to open all the way. The center part of the couch is not motorized, but it is simple to operate. Move the headrest up and flip down the top part of the chair. This has lots of functionality and I really like it. 
First, it can be used as an armrest. There are two cup holders, two three-prong power outlets, two USB ports, and you get two lights up top that will turn on via switches. This section also acts as a tray, which is super handy. You can fit a small plate or bowl for a snack, and the cup holders are more usable than the ones built into the left and right side of the couch. I know my teenager wanted to have some music, so he was able to put his large Bluetooth speaker and connect it to power via USB cable. I was able to fit my 15-inch laptop and plug it in to charge as well. This is super, super handy. When this is all closed up, a normal sized human can sit in the middle of the couch if you need to seat three people. However, this does not have recline like the other two sides of the couch. Now let's get into what I didn't like. Well, first things first, this thing is expensive. It comes in pretty high at $28.99, so pretty close to $3,000. Now, if you wanted to, you could get the same model with downgraded leather for 2000 and save yourself like 900 bucks. So that's kind of cool. Second is the armrest. The storage is kind of small and it is really tough to get it open. You really have to put in some effort when trying to open it up all the way. Third is the LED light ring in the cup holders, which we talked about before. I'm not able to use our tall glasses in the cup holders, but our short ones will work no problem. Uh, another thing I didn't like, which really just has to do with my setup in general in the living room, since the Oxford sofa is positioned pretty close to the Tuscany love seat, out of the four reclining chairs on both couches, only three can be reclined at once. That does kind of suck. However, for our situation, it's not a huge deal as it's just myself, my wife, and our teenager. So three reclining chairs, three people in the house, that's pretty cool. But it's definitely something to think about if this is a kind of configuration you're looking for in your living room. Overall, I think this is a great sofa with many features that will work in both a home theater and a living room situation. The leather is soft and supple and has a great design and look to add to your current room decor. If you're looking to upgrade your living room furniture and want something more than just a regular recliner, check out the Oxford by Valencia Theater Seating or the other chairs they have to offer. Links to the Oxford and their website are down in the description. Once again, a big thank you to Valencia for sending this in for review. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comments below or on social or email, whichever you like to use. Well, that's it for this video. Go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time.